Hi everyone, welcome to Bharat UX. Today I am going to show how to create wireframes in Figma. If you are new to UX UI design or web development, wireframing is an essential skill. So, before we jump into Figma, let's quickly explain what this wireframe is. A wireframe is a simple black and white layout that outlines that the structure of the web page or app. It focuses on content, placement, navigation, and user flow without distractions like a colors, images, or detail usement. In a simple time, a blueprint for your design. So, in this example, we have a two screens. One was Instagram screenshot, the final UI design, and another one is a wireframe. All right, we can start designing. So, first we need to go for Figma.com. I already have an account. If you don't have an account, please sign up first. Once you sign up process completed, we land this page. We need to create new design file. So we can give the name of file Insta Wireframe. So today we uh, redesign the wireframe for Instagram. So I already have a screenshot. I can paste it here. So once paste it, then we can start with the frame. Frame tool is for designing purpose. So when I click the F, it's a shortcut, or we can directly click the frame. We can select from here what kind of uh, device we can use, like a tablet or desktop, which which type we need to use. We can select from this. I can choose iPhone 16. So next we can move on to design process. In this design, we mostly use for uh, rectangle tool as well as text tool. This two tool is very important for wireframing because we are not focusing on any images, colors, any other things. So we can start. In this uh, Instagram post, the main area, the most of the area covered by the post section. So we can start by this post section. You can select rectangle, then start to draw. If you want to rectangle tool, will be square space. You can press shift, then we can drag. We can get the exact same size. So then we can adjust with the height of. Then, so first thing, we have completed the post design. Then we can move on to footer area. In footer area, we have two sections. One is line, another one is a icon. The line icon, so we can use rectangle tool or line icon, line tool also. So next we can create the shape for that. If you click this, we can get the same with the line. So now we can duplicate it and create another one icon. So now what happens, uh, like if you manually copy and paste and move on to uh, the two icon swings, we can not get the exact same between the icons. So what we can do, we can create one folder and make it as a name for footer icons. Then we can create auto layer for this. Auto layer is helpful for uh, spaces between the items as well as responsive view. So now we can easily changeable space with icon. We can just copy and paste. Now we can change this in between spaces to Then we can alignment, we can click center alignment. That's all. Now footer is completed. Now we can move on to header part. In header area, we have a four circles for profile pictures. So we can draw it. If you click shift, then you can draw the circle. It will be perfect circle we can get. Otherwise, the circle will be go with the night will be stretched. 
So please click shift, then we can draw circle. Will we get the perfect circle? Then we can change it as a size here. Then same as below we uh, do it right. Same way we can here also we can create one folder name for profiles. Then mark it as auto layer. Then we can give like that width. Then we can copy paste. We can automatically get the space between the profiles. So simple, right? Then we can change it if you want to change the space between the we can change. Now we can move on to post section. Inside the post section, we have profile icon and one follow button. And one icon. If you want to align this uh, three items, we can select everything, then we can click vertical align to automatically get aligned. Now below we have a four icons. We can just copy paste this also and remove the auto layers. Then we can delete this. Now it's completed. Now the overall the shapes areas and shapes are done. Now we can move on to uh, text area. We can use for text tool. Shortcut for T. First we can enter the title Instagram. You can select fonts is here. Same way uh, we can use uh, notepad text and documents right. Same way we can adjust size, bold, everything. And here also we have a two icons. We can copy paste from this. Now select and vertical one. Done. So next to move on to profile area. We need to select text, then you can start writing of what you were story. Then make it as a small. So after the typing your story, I have uh, uh, already have a typed contents, so I can use copy and paste wherever the contents I already have typed is for the time saving purpose. So I have a title font and subtitle font and follow button. Same way I have typed below contents also. Because uh, text is not much important, only a uh, placeholder for text like uh, we can use dummy text also. So I don't waste timing in typing text. So finally we have done successfully wireframe. Here after what is the next step means we need to share with this wireframe with our clients or uh, team members. How we can share means we need to select the wireframe first, then we need to click export. We have options for uh, PNG, JPG, SPG and PDF. So uh, now I am select a PNG format. Once click export, it will be come for our system, then we can able to share with our team or Line. So, 
everyone uh, i think today learned about the how to create the wireframe from the scratch in this uh, designs we are only focusing on layout and structure and navigation part so this is important for wireframe we don't need to focus on colors and images or any other ui elements i think that's all same way you are able to now create whatever the application or website you can use create wireframe and that's it you have just created a wireframe using figma if you found this video helpful don't forget to like subscribe and press the notification icon for more ux ui design and web development contents let me know in comments if you want to tutorials for this wireframe convert to final ui design thanks for watching see you soon in the next video bye bye